Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all of our first-time visitors. Make yourself at home, and for those who are from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. Let's start off with our Philly testimonies. What's up, Philly? We're standing next to the Glovers. They were ready to give their testimony. So listen, I had a question of the day for y'all. And the question of the day for y'all, man, you gonna tighten up my feet? <laughs> man, just come holler at me. I got you, I got, I got you. You know, look, look, look. I already know what I'm gonna do look, with it. Little ball feet, yeah. you know what I'm saying, all the way around. You want a ball feet? Yeah, ball feet, all the way around. I got you want a little man weave, you know? No, 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 I gotta let them wave show. Uh, gotta let them wave show. But listen, <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> the, the real question of the day is, who first invited you to Philadelphia? Well, you know, the first person to invite us to Philadelphia was uh, John Lede and uh, Brittany Lede. They was actually getting married, and, um, you know, we went to the wedding, and the pastor gave a word. And after that word, you know, we just kept coming back, and, you know, it was a blessing, you know. That's something that we had needed at the time, you know. Yeah. I got you. So speaking of the word, when y'all first came for the first time mm -hmm. and was able to hear the word up close and personal, yeah. what was that experience like? Wow, you want to answer this one? It was like no other. Like we was, we, yeah. we made that decision, and we was like, "This is the church home," because we was actually looking for a church home at yeah. the time. So we was like, "This is it. We found it." You know, so it was a life changing. Gotcha, Mr. Clancy. Yes, it was just exactly what my wife said. I'm in agreement with that. Before, you know, I wasn't in agreement with nothing, but I, <laughs> but I'm in agreement with her now. You know, because we was a little empty inside. You know, and when we came here. You know, they showed us so much love. Pastor actually gave us a hug. It was like, man, why we never been came to Philadelphia, you know? And then after that, our life just rise for the for the best. You know, it took off and we just became a unit after that. Cause we was living separate lives and, and separate walks. But coming to Philadelphia is truly, truly a blessing. First Lady and Pastor, we love y'all and we thank y'all from the bottom of our heart, you know? For Burton, for Burton, Philadelphia. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up, Philly. There y'all have it, the Glovers. <laughs> right. <laughs> right now, it's time for the good news of the week. Happy three-year anniversary to Keith and Michelle Kennedy. We pray for God's continued covering and blessings over your marriage. Mrs. Kennedy says, thank you, God, for loving me enough to design someone just for me. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to Mr. and Mrs. Jeff Arsenal. Happy 13th birthday to Mackenzie Romar. Love mom, dad, and Madison. Happy birthday. Carlos C. Sharp Charles has released his instrumental healing prayer CD available in the foyer after service. The purpose is to provide you with an atmosphere of healing in your home, car, or wherever you are. PMG's Kingdom Jewels new single, Thinking About You, came out last Friday, November 22nd, and it is now available on Apple Music, Google Play, and Spotify, distributed by Philadelphia Music Group. Kevin Chavis has released his second book, Covering the Shepherd, available now in the foyer or visit extm.org to place your order online. Brought to you by Expounding Truth Publishing. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. That's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. We must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. This week here at Philadelphia is Family Week. The purpose of Family Week is to give you the opportunity to spend some quality time with your family. Ministry is important, but the family is your first ministry. We will still have Monday through Friday noonday prayer. You can stop by in for your lunch break. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. Join us. If you missed last Bible study or women's Bible study, download the Philly app right from your app store. It's available on Android or Apple devices. Just search for PCC Lafayette. 
Thursday School of Prayer will be postponed due to Family Week. The Bible tells us that we should weep with those who weep and rejoice with those who rejoice. This month, the Farm Minister would like to extend an exclusive invitation to all those people who are suffering from grief and loss during this time. We'll be meeting 7 o'clock every Thursday after prayer. God bless and hope to see you. Reignite the fire on Thursdays after School of Prayer here at Philadelphia. Reminder that Philadelphia t-shirts are now available to pre-order at the table in the foyer. Sign up after service. Men of God, mark your calendars for the Man's Camp Out coming on Friday, December 13th, 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. Saturday morning. All men are invited for fellowship for fathers and sons, uncles and nephews, friends and neighbors. Come and enjoy good Christian company. Bring your tents, lounge chairs, and cookware to prepare a meal for yourself or some to share. It will all take place at Brother Donald Harvey's residence, 1091 Lena Drive, Arnoldville. Saints of God, those are your announcements. Stand to your feet. It's worship time. <laughs>